Hey gents, welcome back to World of Tanks with the Captain. Uh, only two days before the 9.0 drop. It's happening pretty quick here. I'm in my Matilda, and we're on Wide Park. I've been having like the last two days of worst World of Tanks days ever. I am... I don't know. <laughs> Sometimes the game is fun, and then sometimes just the the invisible tanks and the spotting mechanics, I just... It just almost makes me want to give up, because I, I don't want to buy into the, the game mechanic, because I hate it so much. I really, really, really wish someday, some year, I could play World of Tanks, where all the tanks draw all the time. I just want to try it. They should almost do that for April Fools, like, next year. We're just gonna draw all the tanks, and you can see how horrible it is, and everyone will be like, Oh, I'm so glad the tanks are invisible, and... Then Battlefield 4 will have invisible players, and invisible airplanes, and... Call of Duty can have invisible airplanes. Maybe. Maybe if we're lucky. I do like my Matilda. I think it's probably my favorite tier 4 tank. I like it more than my SC-85B because I think it's balanced because it's really slow. But the gun's really nice. Now I'm getting shot up by an Aerol 44. <laughs> and that's always a really bad thing. Especially when you're tier 4. So you just want to avoid that at all, at all costs if you can. I'm a little bit sick right now. I got... Uh, the sniffles, I'm not sure why. And what I can see here is that a Panzer IV has managed to sneak into our base. And I don't know if I hit him there. I don't think I did. All in all, I haven't really done a heck of a lot of anything yet. I'm gonna shoot at this KV-1. Hello? But I have found in matches like this where I'm completely overpowered and the you know, enemy team has like really high powered tanks like Hellcats and KV-1. So it's better just to hang back and snipe out other people's spot because as soon as you're the one out, the first one out there, they're the first one they look at and they shoot at. So it's better to be a secondary fire tank. You can only really be a frontline tank when you're in a tier 4 or tier 5 game. And there's a Hellcat. I am going to try and put out a little bit more uh, War Thunder content. They have put out a bunch of new patches. And Yag Tigers are now there. IS-3s are now there. There's a number of tanks that are shown um, in the, the new patch update. So I'm really going to be looking forward to that. I don't think I have shots at this k one anymore. Come on! Why are you backing up? So things were still looking kind of okay at this point. I was still alive. Carson was still alive. Come on! Come over here. Come over here where I can shoot you. I can barely see something of him. And now I'm not hitting him anymore. I'm hitting the wall. That didn't explode, so I might have hit him. I don't know. Probably a bad idea for him to drive out there. And now we've got a Crusader. Point blank range, took him out. Two kills for me! So, not a bad thing so far. One thing I would like at some point is an Arrow 44. They look like they're pretty cool. Just kind of 
shooting willy-nilly at him. <laughs> so I can't really penetrate his front very well. And I can't really see him. So... The best thing we can do now is really kill this guy. And then try and press across the map. Things are looking better now than they, they end up looking a little bit later. Okay, the ARL's only got... A couple shots left in them. So we pull out. Probably should have aimed at his lower plate. And then an invisible Hetzer ends up killing, um... Killing Arson, which really sucks. I don't know, he was probably, I don't know, over there somewhere. Another thumbs up for... Invisible tanks. We've also been getting shot and killed by artillery a lot lately. Even though I've been trying to be by buildings and trying to stay in cover and stuff, I really hate artillery. If you're an artillery player, I probably hate you. I don't mean to, but I just hate you. Especially after you play War Thunder tanks and it has better artillery that looks actually pretty cool when it lands near you and it adds to the immersion of the game. Because it's not accurate, really. Artillery in this game is just really stupid. <laughs> Super accurate most of the time. At least I found. We didn't penetrate their armor. Come on. Back up. Let me shoot you. Enemy armor is damaged. I don't want to rant about artillery too much because some people love it and some people are artillery Enemy apologists, but Enemy armor I hate it. I hate it more than anything. I hate the invisible tanks and artillery. If they ever wanted to make a Captain Canada version of tanks, those are the things that Captain Canada would fix. Change them immediately. So that was the end of our jumbo. And now it's me and a Hellcat and a Covenanter. And I don't think I'm going to get a very good shot at that Cromwell. And I was hoping that our team would play back a little more. Be a little bit uh, smarter about their health and not have a Hellcat try and go at a go at this Hetzer because I'm not fast enough to <laughs> to get up here and help him and then he ends up getting blown up and now I'm all by myself Enemy armor so I'm gonna hit. shoot this guy a few times Enemy is hit. now things are looking really bad I'm up to three kills but uh there's a Cromwell, there's a Hetzer, and there's a Hummel on their team. But I'm still at full health. From what I found, if I'm in my Cromwell and I was shooting at a Matilda, it's probably going to pen. It's got about twice as much pen as the armor on this tank, so... I gotta be careful still. I don't know what that guy on my team is talking about. I don't know if he's blaming me for the loss. <laughs> That's one thing about the Matilda. It takes you a long time to get anywhere. It's so slow. Going up hills, you're sometimes doing like 6. Well, now I'm doing 15, so it kind of feels fast. So we'll just speed this up because this part is a little bit boring. But uh, right now I'm just trying to play defensively because they have numbers on me. And this guy's trying to give me pro tips on, on how to play. So, you would think that if I was somewhere around here that I'd be safe from artillery, but no. It turns out that artillery can shoot right into, even pretty close to being butt up to these buildings because of how stupidly it's done in this game. So I don't really have great eyes into here either. They make a window and then they put a big pile of really bad, badly mapped rubble crashing through it. One thing that I'm going to be curious about is when the, the 9.0 patch rolls out is uh, how much better the environments will look or whether they're just going to look like they look right now, which is kind of 
mediocre half-ass average. Like, they look sort of okay, but they don't look good to when you compare it to, like, a, a Battlefield or a Crisis map or a Call of Duty map, like other contemporary games. Um, like it just doesn't look good enough. Like, some of the lighting's improved, but for how good the tanks look in the garage now, it's kind of a toss-up for me what it's going to be like when 9.0 rolls out. You've got 10 tanks out of 200 tanks that are up -resed, but when you go like this, you can't really tell the difference. <laughs> so, it'll be interesting to see if the environments are looking much better, whether they're not, because when I played a few games um, on the test server, they didn't look appreciably better. But, I don't know. That's just me. Maybe some other people are really impressed. So I have this Cromwell down to pretty low hit points. And he was a pretty bad player. He was pretty stupid. I pretty much shot him to pieces and he didn't really stay still long enough to shoot at me and hit me properly. So I'm going to try and find him again. And I assume he's probably in here, so I'm going to poke my face through the hole, but then he finally hits me once. And... Come on. Poke your head through the hole. I thought I could drive through here, so I was going to try. And it looks like I could. At least partially. And wait for it. I'm backing out. Wait for it. Now if I'm already, this is the view I'm getting, and he can see what I'm doing, even though that tank's dead. And here we go. Dead. So basically, um, wherever the Artie relocated to, maybe he had moved into the courtyard over there and he was shooting into here, or he just stayed exactly where he was. In that case, Hummels can drop shells literally as if they were from the, the space station onto your tank. That's why I hate artillery, and I hate you all. All right, we'll go on to the next Matilda game, because it's Matilda Monday. Okay, so that last game was okay, except for me getting destroyed at the end. Um, got four kills, did 1,200 damage. So at the end of the day, not so bad. Um, we're in Wide Park now, and for whatever reason, they decide to put the Matildas down in the bowl where it would take well, four minutes for me to climb this stupid frickin' hill. So I decide to just burn rubber. Look at this. Look how fast the Matilda is. We're going to go back in time because watch this. In half speed. The Kiho is coming, and at this point I figure, okay, he's going to stop, he's going to try and take shots at us and stuff. But no. He decides to go full YOLO. Bam. And drove himself off cliff. <laughs> so that was pretty awesome. Decided to off himself right at the beginning of the battle, give us a tank, uh, tank up. So if you look here at the map, you can see that the enemy team has a relic player on their team. And relic is one of the clans that has pretty good players on their team usually. That, uh, the guy in their time, I think he was 60 or 67% win rate, so. So I hit him. Did no damage. And he's moving pretty quick here. I missed that shot. That and then I bounce on him again. This guy's hit. armor is made of unobtainium. Hit. hit him again. And now he's getting a little bit too far away. There's one tank that I'm never going to catch. It's that tank when I'm driving this tank. So, And now there's too much crap in the way. And I can't really see him. So I give up and let the, the BTSV try and chase him down.
And looks like he killed him. Things are looking good. Unfortunately for us, the enemy team spawned both their Matildas in the same spot as ours. So bounce one. That one didn't bounce. And I don't know what I was thinking when I shot my own teammate there. I apologize to uh, to that guy, Mr. Crazy Calhoun. <laughs> Had a bit of a brain malfunction. Because it would have been nice if he would have stuck around for a little bit longer, but I, at least I only did 50 damage to him. I mean, it could have been worse. And now I'm getting pasted by invisible tanks from across the map. And I assume it's from that guy. Or maybe it's from that guy. I'm not entirely sure. I don't even think a Matilda could hit me from that far away. Because his gun's nowhere near as good as my gun. And you'll notice um, from my position here that our, our Panzer 1C has managed to do the jump and he's above me. He's shooting from the middle part of this bridge. And one thing that's nice about this map is right now there is no artillery. So I don't, I'm not going to have some jerk off who's going to end up uh, dropping a shell on my slow ass head. So you can see at this point uh, Relic Guy's up to 5. I'm only at 1. That's not great. He pretty much single handedly managed to wipe out the upper part of our team there. So I was kind of worried that he was going to come around the top and then drive in behind us. So I turn around, get uh, a shot into the Valentine. Yeah, I don't know. I was kind of guessing that he would come this way, and then he got spotted over there. So then this was, I was kind of like, uh, do I go all the way up? Do I go all the way down? What do I do? So I changed my mind and headed back around this way. And then this is where uh, the Martyr and the T-28 decide to try and engage the Hetzer from down below where they can't really shoot at him. <laughs> yeah, so that's where he ended up uh, hanging out for most of the game, this guy. And I think once you get up there, there's no way to really get out. And I assume he went off that ramp and jumped over because you can kind of see there's a lip to the far left of there. I've never done that. I don't, I don't have a Panzer 1C. The closest thing I could get that would be that fast would probably be my Locust. And as you can see, climbing the hill, I'm doing about 7, and I'm going to be too slow to, to get over here and find Mr. Hetzer before he kills all of my friends. So the best thing I can do at this point is to really just wait to see if he'll come over this way. And I wasn't sure whether he would head down around this way or if you come around this way but the best thing I could do was just wait for him and I loaded my prem rounds because I couldn't afford to uh, not be able to, to pen him I needed to kill him as fast as I could so I hit him once hit him twice and that's it managed to take out their unicorn player but not before he killed 8 tanks as you can see, he killed eight, so he got a Radley Walters out of this game. But I was going to make damn frickin' sure that uh, he wasn't going to get the win. So that's three kills for me, and they're capping the base. I thought maybe that their guy was AFK because he was like, the last place he was spotted, he was behind the cap circle, but he, he wasn't there. And RT-40 kind of figures that the game's over. But little does he know how fast the Matilda is. So I start booking it. Take kind of an off-roady way through here, but... Managed to get all the way here. And I don't think General Patton did a lot this game. I think he just drove across the map. And tried to cap. And honestly, it wasn't going to be that close. I mean, I get up around back to our cap with about 
75, 80 seconds left. And then I managed to spot him. And then I don't even think his turret was facing my direction. It wasn't. Which means he wasn't really ready. <laughs> he still doesn't know where he's getting shot from. So I don't know if he was a bot or just an idiot. But that was it. <laughs> that was it for him. So that was two games doing a little 1100 damage in the Matilda. Which is sometimes quite a feat. Because it only does about 50 a pop. So this is my, my tier 4 uh, tank of choice. This is my, my overpowered SU-85B. Um, not much I can say. I just like this tank a lot. It's got great armor, good gun, and uh, at the end of the day, that makes for a good tank. Sometimes in the big maps, it's a little bit too slow to get around and you get stuck, but I was actually able to get back and uh, not die. And I think that one big round through the front, bottom, front, right of the tank, I think that's where I got hit by the, uh, the Hetzer and his heat round. I assume that was probably a heat round. But uh, it might not have been. He might have just shot HE at me. That's one tank I gotta I gotta look out for when it is shooting at me, the Hetzer. So managed another four kills in that one, and uh, I think I got four kills in the last one as well. So eight kills in two games, not too bad. And uh, I think we're gonna wrap that. Thanks for watching. See you later, guys.